one in ten people lack access to safe water. The lack of accessible safe water is a major problem in sub-Saharan Kenya. The burden of fetching water usually falls on the shoulders of women and children. Since they have to go and wait for each other because the, the, the stream is not big, the, the, the <coughs> holes also are very small, so they have to wait. They can consume up to an hour. Many Kenyan students spend a few hours a day collecting water. In addition to the time consumption, the lack of water can lead to a multitude of health problems. Children coming to class, they are washing their hands, they hold their books, they take their spoons. Some are not even using their spoons when they are eating their food, so they use it their bare hands. The hands which visited the toilets, yet they are not washed. So you see, they experience the diseases. So health problems can also be solved if we have water readily in the school. Over 3,000 Kenyan children die every year from water-related diseases. The time consumed by fetching water also gets in the way of learning. I said the children to go to get me some water and you see the distance. So the time will be consumed. By the time they go to the river, they will, have, they will find that two lessons are already offered. And it will also affect the children because I will not teach without the two children. that water for drinking, washing their hands, uh, cleaning the classrooms, cleaning the toilets, and watering the flowers. With such a serious, devastating problem, how can you help? You can help sponsor a water tank. The average tank costs $7,500 and holds over 250,000 liters of water. And the water tank has helped us so much, so much, and we are very grateful about it. And that's the reason why uh, we are saying, in fact, you people, uh, you have been given that might by God himself, traveling all the way from U.S. or from U.S.A. and coming to assist uh, these uh, pupils here.